Hello, and welcome to our playthrough of Stellaris DLC, Stellaris Nemesis. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough as much as I am enjoying playing the game. And now, let's head into our episode. Again, not sure how they got in here. A worldly invasion has begun. Yeah, it has. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. Oh yeah, we're gonna take a this easily. All right, hold on. We need to slow down then. An enemy planet has Pause. been secured. Population. Land armies again. Population. I can't resettle. Oh, I should have gone with nihilistic acquisition. Mm. All right. Well, that's my loss. Should have gone with nihilistic acquisition. I was hoping I could strip the planet of population. All right. Let's take back what's ours. Yeah, it doesn't contain a gateway. Right, excuse me. Right, get constructed. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. It's not gonna last long. How a special project is going to be out the very act. I has fused the strange energies of this crowd, energies that boost and hone both mind and matter in our reality. These are effects the shrouds bestow while still separated from our reality. And imagine what godlike potential the remnant species could gain if the two dimensions were merged. We must accomplish it. Office. So now. Yes, we gain cruisers, we do more damage. And we have better tracking on our destroyers. All right, so we can get rid of the menacing corvettes, I guess. I don't think we can assimilate. Yeah, I can't. I can't do decisions or anything like that. Can we? Wait. For 140, I'm claiming that. Let's do that then. Oh, hold on. A great change is coming. The Revenant Necromages is on the verge of realizing a supreme goal. Each and every Revenant feel it with every bit fiber of their being. Our destiny is at hand. Our experience, nay, our very history. A forceful expansion still rewards us with new ways to subjugate our enemies and usurp control of a galaxy in turmoil. Surely those who dare stand, stand against us must see their futility of their whimpering efforts. The situation has always been amazing. Okay, trigger that. Um, fleet manager. No, ship designer. So let's take a look at the destroyers. No, get rid of the autos. Menacing cruiser. So what do we got? 
This is it. Jump drives. Huh. Well, small disruptors. Large artillery? Then what do you pick from medium? You could just go full disruptors, but that seems weird. I guess you could do one Gauss Cannon, one Gamma Laser. Or... Hear me out. This is every 10 seconds. This is every 16 seconds. So two of these... I gotta do the math. 100% armor damage, so that's 60 times 2. That's 120 every 10 seconds. What if we do a large plasma, right? And then just double up on the gauze. So the medium will wreck the shields, this will wreck this, and the large will just wreck the armor. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, we gotta. I think we have to rename these. That's why we're having issues with the auto coming back. So this will be the the lover. That's fine. The the fist bump. The hugger. And the high five. Okay. Fleet manager. We'll upgrade the entire fleet. Alright. So what do we get? Ah! Alright, we didn't get what I want. Alright. Well... I got what I wanted. Nice. Can I immediately go to war with you guys? No. Uh, we are at truce with them. So, we need population. The nearest planet we can take is these guys? Maybe? In the meantime... Oh, we don't want to shred the brains, but... World... Excuse me. Again, if it's not providing resources, we're cracking. them for a while. We've won the war. We're slowly making headways into the final level. We haven't destroyed any empires. Uh, we are fairly menacing. There is that. Uh, 
Oh, terraform. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna see. Our vessels have been reinvigorated. Yeah. See, now it's not here. Ocean desert. Can we not terraform tomb worlds to Gaia worlds? Oh, maybe that's it. We can't terraform tomb worlds to Gaia worlds. Any other planet, it's fine. Okay, that's that's fine. I'm okay with that. I why there's devastation. Oh, I think I know why. Those over. All right, so definitely need that. Gonna need that. Oh, that's true. Market. The other thing I need is one, two, three. One. All right. Thank you for reminding me. I got sidetracked. Fifteen. Ah. Okay. Can we buy that? That's the best, about the best we're gonna do. We're gonna have to wait for that to tick up naturally. Okay. Um. Oh, do we need energy? As stupid as that sounds. No, we just need fifteen thousand alloys. All right, so we can keep. We can continue doing something like this. All right, and then letting that stand. All right, good to know. We're gonna have to wait on that. We we do have that up, so it's not the worst. Okay. I think Gaia World gives a. Um, growth bonus? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. 1700. So we can't Gaia. Yeah, I should have gone with Nihilistic Acquisition. Ah, <sighs> because then we could have bombed them and taken. But at the same time, pros and cons, I guess. One. Pros and cons. Oh, that's cool. They're going egalitarian. So in order to... I think we've got to take Gamma Draconis. A special project. Oh, yeah. The, this day marks the beginning of the final chapter. We now have a plan on how to tear open the barrier between worlds. And let the energies of the Shroud become one with our universe. Ultimately granting Revenant Necromancer's power beyond record. Using our own sun as the focal point, we will gather sufficient quantities of energy in this reality to power a surge that will pierce the barrier to the shroud, effectively merging it with ours. We need to ha harvest the power of multiple suns using new mobile space fortresses called Star Eaters. The only little side effect of the sun harvest process is that the surrounding celestial bottle bodies may suffer the compromised structural it may suffer compromised structural integrity and complete obliteration. But that is a small price to pay for the power that we are. The end of the beginning is upon us. Our time has come. Okay, that's a weird way to do things. Okay, we're almost to level. F well, we're technically halfway to level five. We'll keep blowing up planets to see how close that gets us. Um. Otherwise, we're just waiting. 
the if I chose correctly for guy or woman. I probably spoilers. I probably did it. A study has been completed. Our vessels have been reinvigorated. Go ahead and upgrade those. Buy a bunch. Uh, actually, no, we're going to trigger this. And Architectural Renaissance. Because we now have enough alloys. Look at this. Um, and then from there... And we're selling 300 food. And we're still making 288. We're... Alright, um... Oh, 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 fleet manager. Uh, add ship completed. menacing... Hold on, ship designer. Delete. 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 Thank you. Twenty of each. I don't think we need that many Corvettes. I don't think we need Corvettes at all. I'm okay with that. And let's see how far that pushes are. Um, a study has been completed. Right there. Eighty five and seventy three. Kids. 50k. Really? That's it? Okay. Uh, let the sun swell. I think at this point it's just gonna be a repeat on potential um uh, large science chunks. So plus ten. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt. I mean, it's a good defensive fleet. But 50k, I mean, it, and let's face it, it's the fact that it takes minerals to build, not alloys. So it's a lot easier to pump out, like, four or five of these fleets versus, you know, one of these fleets. Sort of thing. Um, is there is that as well? Like we could make. Construction venture completed. No, forty thousand. Oh, and a few alloys. Okay.
Oh, food! Oh no, what will we do? Well, food's fine. One. Oh, he's here. Pause. Let's go ahead and queue up. Oh, there's nothing here we can crack. That's fine. Uh, that. 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 Yeah, not much. That. That. And that. That is everything we can currently crack. I guess we go after these guys next. Problem is... They're in a federation. So to turn all... All of us... Against the entire the galaxy. Not sure we're ready for that. Maybe we are. Study has been completed. We're just gonna let that tick. I mean, that's the thing, is they're cheap and easy to replace. That's the trade-off. Uh, I assume this can... Oh, the mega ship... Oh, boy. Has been completed. Is the Juggernaut building them? They gotta be coming from somewhere. Yeah. Stop making protectorates. Or maybe they just build so fast? Hold on. Okay, yeah, they are building at the Mega Ship here. They just build so fast. Um, experience gain is a good one. Okay. Uh, that's okay. We won't re-trigger that again. I don't think we need to. All right, less than three hundred. Oh, actually, oh, this is still going. Alright. Well, wait, I want to see... Oh, we've got the energy, though. Well, I mean, we're going to transform all of these into... Anything we can into a Gaia world. Just because we can at this A study point. has been completed. Yep, we'll just let it pick. Oh, good! Command plus ten. More battleships. I think uh, each command takes... Each battleship takes up eight. So that's one more battleship. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, no way. Just to move along. Planets are fine. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, activate this gate, okay? Oh. That was weird. There's a free gateway. Oh, we can activate this one too, right? No reason not to. Mark it. How's it alloys? Oh, we'll go ahead and drop that. We're getting both back energy and minerals back pretty quick at this point. Um...
20 days. Then grow. Okay, that's new. Hey, we got an achievement. We built a Gaia world. All right. So does that give any bonuses? No. Should have gone with acquisition. Son of a bitch. The only good thing is the hundred percent habitability. So that means everyone loves living there. That's all. So I don't have to worry about the when. When this start, oh, starts theoretically overpopulating at some point, people will just start moving to random planets. They'll go to, like, um, and habitats. They won't care. Um, uh, oh, uh, decisions. Oh! I wasn't paying attention. You know what we can do to fix that, though? Uh, we can sell a thousand of these. Bunch of this. Ooh, we can't. Alright, we can buy this. That'll get us that much closer. Uh, oh, we got a new species, so let's go ahead and mess with them. Alright, hold on. Thank you. It could only be like five yeah, the vent Interesting, they're tundra. Well create template. We're changing that to Arctic. Actually, not gonna matter, is it? Uh, industrious, ingenious, agrarian. Rapid breeders, very strong. Template. Fly template. The situation log has been amended. Research. She's modified. Come up to the lab. Nope. We're saving everything for something else. Oh. Okay. It only takes like five or six months. It can actually go faster. Quite easily. neat. It's cheaper here, because it's a Thrall world. Or for some other reason. Ah, uh, can't do the Tomb Worlds. Don't care. Mark it. Now, the trick is just to overload the Ecumenopoli, again, I think that's the... And have them start transferring out everywhere. Um, but that does mean we're gonna need a station. Excellent. On every planet. 100... Is More star bases. More defense platforms. 
and faster sublight speed. Always appreciated. I don't think you can have multiple. Alright, um. Kipyard's are coordination center. Um, so, where where have we not built? Definitely need one here, I guess. One. Um, here, I guess. Two. Three. I think that gets me to 27, so we're going to leave that alone. That's true. Specialists can trade out, too, so they can go to other places. A study has been completed. Um, we need more crystals. Sure. Yeah, we only have one nanite, so I don't care about this anymore. Right. Construction venture completed. Transit hub, paint bridge upgrade. Construction venture completed. Same thing here. Transit hub, paint bridge upgrade. A study has been completed. Yeah. Transit hub, paint bridge upgrade. Yeah. Oh, well, they're dead. Uh, how's my... Wow, actually, we're already halfway. Okay. Alright. Um... We, we have to. We just have to try to keep acquiring assets. Okay. Um. A study has been completed. This is trade. Oh. Oh, and this is science. So research upgrade again. Build that. Yeah, they can transfer off. That's not the... Oh. Oh, because of corrupt. Two hundred months. Yeah. Alright, let's replace this. The bioreactor? Or a research institute. Go down another another lab. Ah, 
I'm not sure what to do. This is a generator world, so, yeah. Probably are going to need that at some point. Um, I don't think they're... Well, hold on. If I go to policies... Slavery purge... Is it an edict now? I think it's an edict now. Greater artificial intelligence. Yeah. I don't see... Yeah, nutritional plentitude. Sure, we'll go one over. Every little bit helps at this point, right? For that. Oh, sorry, I forgot I was paused. Excellent. And now we gotta now we have to rebuild up our spy network, right? Yeah. And now we're at a cap of 35, so that's that's what we're gonna have to do is just keep acquiring assets in here. Um And the deal. That's that out. That's the fleet manager. Yeah, one more battleship each, huh? Oh. Oh, which ones? This is 47, this is 41. Oh, wow! So this... Interesting. It actually reads... Okay. You can lay claim to whatever you want. You ain't getting it. Then skills. What's the... oh shifts? Construction adventure completed. Let's go ahead and trigger those. Beautiful. Beautiful Construction logistics upgrade. Thing. Beautiful logistics upgrade. Construction adventure completed. Yep. Yeah. Here. Can it support that? Eh, mostly. Definitely upgrade that. This is only a size 15. We're currently converting it to a Gaia world, which is cool. Um, you know what, uh, leaders? Where was that? I think that covers it. Yeah, I just don't think it's worth it anymore. All right, let's replace, like, I guess one every 200 months. What is that? That's almost almost 20 years. It's getting to the point of, well, pretty much to the point of useless. 
Um, let's replace this with a... Don't see an admin office. Not sure. The Dread Encampment. Oh, you know, we do have three of them. Well, I guess this wouldn't hurt. And we have the brains for it. Have the admin off. Got the crystal? The crystal could be better. I'll let it stand. I guess that. Uh, doesn't matter. Oh, well, hold on. No, no, we're converting it, so it doesn't matter. Um, again, replace this with admin offices. Wow. Oh, yeah, no, we definitely need precinct houses here, then. From Pops, plus 53. Okay. Everywhere else we're pretty okay with. Huh. I wonder why it's so far, so high here. No branch offices. Alright, we're good to go. Um... Upgrade that. Um, let's actually designation. That's fine. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, we're turning, we turned this into a trade world. Uh, actually, this takes crystal, crystal, crystal. So because that takes so much crystal, we're going to slap down... A study has been completed. A synthetic crystal plants. Um, yeah, we only got 17 people living here, so that'll take forever. All right. Um... I think we have to go to war with these guys. This is Empire. 17 pop here. That is it. Who are these guys? Interesting. They have rebels. Uh, you can wipe out the Ravagers, but that's about all you can do. You can't, like, as far as I am aware. Alright, here. Got the Dread Encampment. We're good to go. Definitely gonna be minerals. We have the brain. Let's trigger that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. A study. Might as well, completed. right? Cool. Oh, on the habitat, Moscot. Oops, we converted everyone. Whoopsie. You know what? Let's just... Replace... 
with another science, right? Oh, what's this? Citadel of Faith? Because we can. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.